When you look around your house, do you get confused with what to call certain things? For example, what's the difference between a veranda and a balcony? Do you know? There are some very confusing terms like these. And if you want to make sure that you get them right, do watch this video. You will learn the meanings of the different terms and there are pictures to help you identify them easily. At the end of the lesson, I have something interesting for you to do. So do keep watching right till the end. I'm Malin from English Made Easy. This channel is dedicated to creating easy and interesting lessons so that you can improve your English in an enjoyable way. If you like today's lesson, do hit that like button and subscribe to English Made Easy if you want to get notified when I post more lessons like this on my channel. So let's begin with today's lesson. Let's check out this vocabulary and let's see how many of these terms you actually knew. Shall we begin? A balcony and a veranda. What's the difference? A balcony is a platform that projects from the wall of a building, usually above the ground floor. And a veranda is a roofed platform level with ground floor. Here's what I mean. You can see this in the picture is a balcony. And this is a veranda because it's on the ground floor. Here are the next terms, basement and attic. What's the difference between a basement and an attic? A basement is the floor of a house that is usually partly or completely below ground level. And an attic is a room that is partly or completely inside the roof of a building. And here's what I mean. That's a basement. It's underground. And that's an attic. And here's the next pair of words, garage and barn. So what's a garage? It's a building used to keep a vehicle. And a barn is a building used to store grain or keep livestock. Like this. And this. The next set of words, driveway and walkway. This is easy to understand from the word drive and the word walk. So driveway is a short road that leads from the main road to a building and walkway is a short path connecting different sections of a building or a path in a garden. Like this is a driveway and this is a walkway. Skylight and ventilator. So what's a skylight? It's a window set in a roof or a ceiling. And a ventilator is an opening usually at the top of a room that helps in ventilation. Here's a skylight. You can see it letting the sunlight in. And this is a ventilator. What about eaves and threshold? Eaves is a part of the roof that overhangs a wall. You must have heard the term eavesdropper, someone who stands there under the eaves and listens to people's conversations is called an eavesdropper. And eaves is a part of the roof that overhangs a wall. Threshold is a strip of wood or stone at the bottom of a doorway that one has to cross before entering a room like this. These are the eaves. If you stand here and listen to someone's conversation, you would be an eavesdropper. These are the eaves. And this here is the threshold, this area. Fence and hedge. Fence is an upright structure enclosing an area and hedge is a boundary formed by bushes or shrubs. That's what a fence looks like. 
And this is what a hedge looks like. Now let's see how many of these pictures you can identify. This is the first one. What is this? Do you know that it is a ladder? If you do, that's good. What about this? Name the tool. And it is a hammer. What's this in the middle of both walls? What do you call this? Stairs. And what is this red structure on the roof of the house? A chimney. What's the wooden structure called where the books are kept? A bookshelf. And with that, we've come to the end of today's lesson. I hope it was an interesting one and I hope you learned from it. And if you did enjoy today's lesson, you might also enjoy one that I did quite recently on English vocabulary. It's an English vocabulary quiz. And you'll find the video somewhere here. Do watch it. I will also put a link to it down below. And I hope you will learn a lot from that too. It's a quiz, so it's exciting. Do watch it when you have time. Thank you for watching today's video. And for now, I'll say bye.